Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question using a sample space to find compound probability. Gloria has two number cubes with faces numbered 1 through 6. She will roll each number cube once. Part A of our open response question asks us to make an organized list to show the sample space for rolling the two number cubes once. So here's our answer. I would make a table of values where we know that we have one number cube that we are going to roll one, two, three, four, five, or six, as well as on the second number cube. So we know that our possible outcomes are these following numbers. We could roll a one and a one, a one and a two, a one and a three. And over here, we're going to identify that this is the first number cube with a one and the second with a two, but we could have a 2 and a 1. This is different because it's the first number cube with a 2 and the second number cube with a 1. So here are our 36 different outcomes and it's what we call a sample space because it represents all the possible outcomes. Part B. How many possible outcomes are in the sample space for rolling the two number cubes once? So we already identified that our sample space ends up being 36 different outcomes. So when you roll two number cubes, there's 36 different things that could happen, 36 different outcomes. Part C, Gloria wants to roll the number cubes once and get a sum of eight on the top faces. List the outcomes in the sample space that have a sum of eight. I've brought forward our sample space here. So the ones that come up with a sum are eight are two and six, three and five, four and four, 5 and 3, and 6 and 2. You can see that they form a diagonal line. These diagonals all have the same sum. So we can identify that this is our sample space, 2, 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, and 6, 2. There are five different rolls that you can get with these two number cubes that will have a sum of 8. Part D. What is the probability that Gloria will get a sum of 8 on the top faces when she rolls the two number cubes once? So we have identified that there are 5 different outcomes out of our 36 outcomes, so we have a ratio of 5 out of 36. So our answer here, our probability, is 5 out of 36. You may have answered this in decimal form or in percent, but I'm going to leave mine as a simplified fraction of 5 out of 36.